Hello and welcome to another Idea Space Craft Along with the Public Library of Brookline. My name is Christy and I'm a Reference and Technology Librarian at the Brookline Village Library. And I'm here today in our Idea Space to show you all how to make your own cyanotype inspired prints. Let's get started. Is this your first Public Library of Brookline to-go program? Here's how it works. Each to-go kit comes complete with everything you need to follow along with an awesome DIY project and video or written instructions created by one of your local librarians. The best part? Absolutely no due dates. You can keep everything included in your kit. Visit brklib.com events to find out what and when our next project will be. Today's project will take most makers about 30 minutes to complete, plus several hours drying and pressing time. Here's what you'll find inside this month's kit. Two sheets of UV sensitive paper. These sheets are sensitive to sunlight and fluorescent bulbs, so be sure to keep your papers inside your kit envelope until you're just about to start printing. A variety of acetate flowers, four sewing pins, and one roll of washi tape. From home, you'll also need a piece of scrap cardboard a little larger than your UV paper, a container that's large enough to fit your paper and can be filled with tap water, and a sunny day. Take a moment to gather your materials and then we'll get started. One of the earliest forms of photography, the cyanotype process was invented in 1842 by British mathematician John Herschel, primarily as a method for quickly and cheaply reproducing notes and diagrams. Architects could create a diagram of a building on transparent or translucent material, then expose multiple sheets of chemically coated paper to sunlight to create bright blue copies, what eventually became known as blueprints. But it was Herschel's friend and botanist Anna Atkins who thought to apply the process to plant material. Her photographs of British algae is considered the first book illustrated with photographic images. We've included a packet of acetate flowers and plants you can use in your prints, but just like Herschel and Atkins, you can also experiment with lots of different types of subjects for your exposures. The washi tape in your kit, real leaves and plants from outside, or objects from around your home. Just be sure to watch this video all the way through at least once before getting started, since the process moves pretty quickly once you're outside. When you're ready to start printing, take all of your materials outside, keeping your UV paper safe inside the kit envelope. In a patch of shade, take out and pin a single sheet of UV paper to your scrap piece of cardboard, light blue side facing up towards you. Working fairly quickly, arrange your acetate flowers or other objects on top of the paper as you'd like them to appear in your final print. If it's windy out, you can use a bit of your washi tape to hold your objects in place. As soon as you're happy with your composition, move your print out of the shade and into direct sunlight. Let the print expose for about two to five minutes or until the paper has turned a very pale shade of blue or almost white. While you wait, make sure your container of water is nearby for the next step. After two to five minutes have passed, quickly flip your print face down into your container of water and cover or move the print back into the shade to prevent any further exposure. Let the print soak for at least one minute and as you remove the print, try to shake it a bit in the water to encourage as much of the sun sensitive chemicals as possible to come off of the paper. Now you can leave your print to dry in the shade while you create your next one. Once your prints are fully dry, place them between a few heavy books for a while to iron out any wrinkles. Now you can use the washi tape in your kit to hang up your cyanotypes. Thank you all so much for crafting with us today. We would love to see what you made with your kit, so please feel free to share your project with us on social media at BRKLIB using the hashtag MakeYourOwnStory. The Craft Along program is generously sponsored by the friends of the Brookline Public Library. From all of us here at the library, we wish you very happy making. Bye-bye.